guys. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me here. I'm so excited. I am in my garage. I was <laughs> going to do this from my bedroom, but I just don't want to get comfortable with people laughing at me in there. A <laughs> 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 little bit about me. Uh, I'm in a long-term relationship with Citibank Visa. <laughs> They are so committed to me, you guys. <laughs> they call me all the time. <laughs> I finally had to tell them, look, I am seeing other credit cards. <laughs> I am a woman Woo! because uh, that's in right now. And uh, I'm also straight because I can't, I can't have everything. <laughs> you guys you know that movie that came out last year what men want um who cares <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what genre that movie was but i know it wasn't a mystery <laughs> <laughs> they're uh they're coming out with the sequel now it's called what men still want <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an actor, but I don't know, saying that right now kind of feels like saying, because I cut the sleeves off my t-shirts, I'm a fashion designer. <laughs> <laughs> no. I am from Wisconsin, but um, I had to leave because I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go to football games. All the kids had cheese on their head. I had hummus. <laughs> so I, I left my battle with dairy behind and I moved to Los Angeles to enlist in the war on gluten. <laughs> this, this morning I lost a battle to someone named Captain Crunch. <laughs> I, hope, I hope my hair looks okay. Um, if it doesn't, it's certainly not because I did not put forth the effort. Ladies will understand this, I think. Um, I started out with the curling iron, then I moved to the flat iron, then I hit myself in the head with a nine iron. <laughs> <laughs> I was done. And um, I hope my outfit's okay. I never know what to wear because when I was a kid, my mother never bought me any cool clothes. She would actually say, why not just take and wear something out of my closet? <laughs> <laughs> I'd show up to fifth grade in a 45-year-old women's business suit. <laughs> the kids were like, we got a sub. <laughs> I, was, I was the only fifth grader who could buy teenagers beer. <laughs> I grew up in I grew up in the 80s and all I ever wanted was just one alligator Izod shirt. You know? <laughs> Instead, my mother got me the much less popular armadillo shirt from Sears. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm assuming it was from Sears because they don't have shirts at Pep Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love I love being a mom though. I do. I love everything about it. Um, except maybe for the word mom. I don't know that that word doesn't look very skinny. Have you, <laughs> have you guys seen that word on paper? Just look at it. It looks like they made it out of some sort of pudgy hieroglyphics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm made up of two giant double mountains and inside the middle a donut. <laughs> which is kind of funny because I have a donut in the middle of me. <laughs> um, I have just one child because of that law in China. <laughs> I'd like to have another one one day, but if I do, I'm going to adopt because I really want to make a difference. You know, my daughter says, why not try making dinner? That'll make a difference. <laughs> when she was born, the doctor said to have a lot of skin to skin contact. He said it would build confidence. I don't know about that. I had a lot of skin to skin contact in college. My confidence was at an all time low. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter is 14 now. She tells me everything. I say, please stop. <laughs> and, and sometimes when we're together, you guys, people say we look like sisters. Oh, that is such a compliment to me, but it's kind of a slam to her. 
You know, I, I told her she's got to start dressing more her own age and stop wearing my mom's 45 year old women's <laughs> Thanks, you guys. That's my time. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! That was so funny. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your next comic is.